I want to look at this one here which is digital audio workstation guidelines for music production actually let's look at the quick reference guide first so we open that and uh, you know this is version 1.0 so this is a living document that's going to change as people make more and more suggestions but this kind of should get you here so it gives you the basic basics of uh, what things are doing what you should do to get the most out of this and if everybody kind of follows this it'll make things happen so you see they talk about one master project or session you know and uh, said work done in other projects or ses sessions should be imported into the master session and um, name the audio tracks before recording and rename all audio files uh, that were recorded before the track was labeled. That means, you know, if you got a bunch of stuff on your session that just says audio one, audio two, audio three, etc., etc., take the time and rename those tracks before you deliver them to someone else. You know, use the comment section liberally. You know, to let know let people know what was used to record something or any special notes that may be helpful to somebody else. Because what a lot of people don't understand is this: many times. You know, you may think you're going to do the whole project from start to finish, but if something happens where it has to be handed off, people have to understand, you know, your rhyme and reason for going about doing something. So that's where the comment section and leaving a lot of notes can help somebody guide them along if you're not there. Label the buses, okay, label inputs, outputs, and inserts as well, and make sure the date and time is set correctly, you know, and, uh, you know, it talks here about creating new projects, you know, the best way to do that. I'm not going to go through all these, but you can kind of see some of the things here. And um, say, you know, that you have the song title and put capital MST if it's a master, you know. And that Little things like that will help people can look at a glance and kind of figure out what's going on. You know, cleaning up, you know, your tracks, you know, getting rid of uh, funny edits, you know, cleaning them up and then... um getting things so that there's no pops and clicks and funny things that will show up in a final mix accidentally okay and uh... let's go down here you see they got something about printing tune tracks to another track when finished tuning them you know rendering tracks onto contiguous audio files starting from the beginning of the session and you know that's after you're completely done editing them and what that does is give you instead of having a session where your tracks still have the all the edit chops in there it should be a complete file for each track start to finish you know silence and everything all in between but what that does is that if anything happens where say you know your DAW goes down and you need to find another way to work you can always re-import those audio files into something else and you know that if you started at zero all the files are going to line up and everything will play exactly the way it did before that's the purpose of doing that you know getting rid of unneeded tracks things like that organization very you know very uh... needed in today's way of making music you know and um... yeah this is a good there's a good tip here about placing a blank track labeled unused between used and unused tracks okay and got a lot of other things here so I'm gonna let you go through that but this is there's a lot of good things in here to show you how to keep your products and projects um, organized so you can see this here a lot of good stuff file management there's recommendations on that so that uh, you just don't get you know there's so many things that can end up all over the place I've seen and received projects where where um you know people will have thought that they transferred everything ready for me to mix only to find out that maybe they had some of their audio files on more than one hard drive and so uh, I'll get half the files and the other ones will show up as blanks because it's no longer pointing to the rec to the correct drive and when the session was copied it didn't um, give everything that was actually in the session so you know I'm sure you've probably seen that and to avoid that if you just do a few things up front it'll be okay anyway uh, I just wanted you to see that you can find these documents at the uh, at grammy.com at the uh, producers and engineers wing site 
and uh, under guidelines. So that's at the navigation at the top right there, Producers and Engineers Wing under the Recording Academy tab. Okay, and just go through here and I'd suggest just download all of these and then look through them as you can and save them, print them out or whatever. And uh, if the more of us that do this, the better we will have uh, in as far as just keeping our stuff organized and standardized. Anyway, this is Colleague Out and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.